Hello everyone, welcome again in this tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we will continue working with the RF module that is able to cover about one kilometer area and it's work with 433 megahertz. Okay, and it support interface, uh, UART interface to communicate to any MCU. Okay, so uh, in this tutorial, we will try to make a simple uh, messenger where we can send a message from the first uh, device to another one and also from the, the second one to the first one, vice versa. Okay. Uh, so with this we need to connect these two to uh, an MCU or the Arduino so now let's talk about the wiring so this is the wiring as we talked before okay this module again as we said before support UART and let's go this five pin the first pin is the set second one is the TX, RX ground and the PCC okay the set pin we use it only and only if we use uh, if you want to program the internal parameter of this module only if you want to change the parameter let's say the power thread channel uh, and also the power mode then you will use this pin otherwise you just leave it floating okay so normally if we want to use uh, this module just as transmitter or receiver so we just connect RX, DX, ground and VCC okay okay so now we come to the to the connector since again since we will use these two to send message from one side to another and also from another side to the first one we will use something called soft serial we will not use the serial that already implement or the hardware serial that already implement in the arduino because arduino we know there's a, a serial that we always use to print out the data on the computer this one is the hardware serial. However, today we will use something called software serial. Why we want to use software serial? Because in the Arduino, we have only one hardware serial, okay? Which is pin zero and pin number one. Okay, if you see here, you got the Arduino here, you see here, this is the pin out of the Arduino. We got pin zero is the RX okay and pin 1 is the TX these two is the hardware serial okay and this one is already connected to the USB through the FTDI converter and we can show the, the data that's sent to these two pin onto the serial monitor on the uh, on the COM port in the Arduino IDE so we cannot use two functions for this UIRT. For example, we cannot use it to see the data on the computer, on the port, and at the same time can talk to this module. So we have to interface the model or another uh, UIRT, which is a soft CA UIRT, and leave the RX and TX, the hardware UIRT, only to talk to the USB and also to the port on the uh, computer. Therefore, our RX, or so our TX will not connect to the RX which is pin number zero okay will not be connected to this pin however we connect the soft serial which is pin number 10 same to the T uh, sorry, to the RX will not be connected to the TX which is pin number one will not be connected here however will be connected to number to pin number 11 this is the soft serial pin soft serial pin and also not connect to the TX because this one only for the set, only for the set. This one will not be used. Okay. Again, TX will be connected to pin number 10, which is soft CL. I will show you how to configure the soft CL in the, in the code later. And the RX will connect it to pin number 11, which is the soft CL pin again. Okay. Actually, this one, pin number 10, is a soft serial RX. And the pin number 11 is a soft serial TX okay and again just the normal one for the ground to the ground VCC go to the 3.3 or 5 volt okay and again we can see here I already connect these two we can see here I move the RX TX from pin number 0 on 1 I connect it to pin number 
10 and 11 okay and same goes to another module okay sorry pin number no. pin number 0 1 shift to pin number 10 and 11 okay so later in when we go to do the coding we will learn how to configure the soft sale and how when and how we can do uh, data transmission between the hardware serial to the soft serial okay if you want to say this is the first node or the first uh, point where we will send the data we will send the data type in the data in the computer uh, com port which is the hardware serial so come to the hardware serial we'll try how to convert this to the soft serial soft serial come to the RF RF sent to the nether RF this RF will receive it and send it to the soft serial okay then from the soft serial we have to convert it back to the hardware serial which is go back again and display on the computer now if we want to send from this node to this one we just go back to the first one we start for the hardware serial which is from the com port on the computer then we convert it from the hardware serial to the software serial software serial talk to the RF RF talk again to the RF and again RF will come back to the software serial software serial convert to the hardware serial and hardware display on the computer okay so we have done with the uh, wiring let's go to the computer and see how we will configure the code okay okay guys so here we will start to do the software for our messenger project okay again uh, as we said in this uh, tutorial we will use the soft serial library this software serial library is already installed in the arduino folder so no need to be at any uh, another library we just call it okay we call it this way hash include soft serial dot h okay then we define new object call my soft serial this is the name of the object with the <coughs> with the pin number 10 and 11 where pin number 10 representing the rx 11 representing the tx these two pin will be simulating the hardware UART but in, in another pin, in pin number 10 and pin number 11 on the Arduino board. Okay, now we come to the setup. In the setup, again, we uh, initialize the serial, the hardware serial with a power rate of 9600, and at the same time, also we initialize my, uh, the one we have just uh, declared, my soft serial serial the soft serial uh, object with the power rate of 9600 okay in the loop this is the trick or this is the main uh, trick we will do that we will convert from the soft serial to the hard serial and also from hard to the soft so first of all we will check if the soft serial is available okay this means there's a data and the soft serial this data, this data that we read it here, we will write it to the hardware serial. Okay, if there is a data available in the soft serial, we will read it and write it to the hardware serial, and vice versa for sure. If there is a data is available on the hardware serial we will read it and write it to the software serial that's all easy busy okay again if there is a data is available in the software the one and uh, the software serial that we just declare in pin number 10 and 11 this means there's a data coming from the rf we take this data and we read this data then we write it back again to the hardware serial. This means we take it from the RF to the hardware. This means we print it out on the laptop, on the COM. 
Same goes if there is a data available on the COM, we say we type some message inside the COM port, the IDE COM port, okay? So we will read this message that we typed in and write it back to the software. That's all. Now if we compile it, okay, done compiling, then we try to upload on our two uh, Arduino boards. So first one is P and COM number 11, upload. Okay, compiling, uploading, and now we change to COM 11 and upload also. Okay, done uploading, very good. So I have opened already another Arduino IDE, so I can open two different ports. As we can see here, this one is on pin number 11. This one here on pin, uh, sorry, on COM, pin on COM number 11. So this one I will have to shift, uh, I have to change to COM number 12. Okay, so again, this one COM number 12, that one COM number 11. Uh, for the Arduino board, we don't need to change. I mean, it's not a big deal because we're not uploading, we're just reading, but it's okay. We just, you know, big deal. Okay, we open the COM here and COM here. So here we have COM number 12, here COM number 11. So if we start from here, let's say any message to be sent, let's say hi, press enter. So we can see it's sending from this com to another one. We say another one, hello. Then this one come back from com number 12 to com number one. How are you doing? Okay, so we have done completing our simple chat. I'm good, thanks. Okay, so from here we can see that we can uh, use these two uh, nodes or these two boards on different computer and we can use it to chat with two uh, different person that can be covered of up to one kilometer okay so we have done the our tutorial for uh, for today thank you very much i hope you have learned something uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any doubt or any question, and I'll try to answer it and cover as soon as possible. Thank you very much, Sir